Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Let's continue to explore Los Feliz and look for these stolen casino chips. And let's see what's going on here. That's an awful lot of people. Ah, it's a preacher. You know, it might be um not very well received if I just suddenly run up on stage. I should probably hang back. Oh my god, this place is huge. I don't really particularly care about what he's talking about, because it's just a load of nonsense, undoubtedly. Um, oh, I can actually go up there. Or, wait, can I? No, I can't. Or, wait a minute. I can click up there. Is there another route? <laughs> what are my people trying to do? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> um... I'm not so sure about this pathfinding algorithm. Okay then. Let's just head back down. Let me see, can I talk to this guy? The guard. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go. Blah, 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 Samson. Loads of nonsense. And a pile of dirt. Ooh! Why did somebody bury two human feet? The Griffith Observatory, a history. Ooh. Hey. Wait a minute. We're missing somebody. Where's Harper? Uh. I'm not gonna take the feet. No, he's right here. <laughs> That's weird. He didn't show up in the list of people I could give loot to. Now he does. Oh, that's not too long. So let's see what's up with this place. Famed philanthropist Griffith J. Griffith. Don't <laughs> wait. His name is Griffith Gri Griffith J. Griffith. Same last name as the first name. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Anyway, donated over three thousand acres of land to the city of Los Angeles in 1896. Previous to this, this land was part of a Spanish settlement known as Rancho Los Feliz. Staying with the Feliz family for generations until Griffith purchased it. Griffith's intent was to give the great city of Los Angeles a great park, one that would provide rest, relaxation, and diversion to the masses. The donation was accepted by the city and named Griffith Park in honor of the donor. Griffith also donated $100,000 to the city to build an observatory, exhibit hall, and planetarium on the land. The objective was to make the observatory accessible to all and free to the public. Griffith believed that looking at the skies would bestow an enlightened perspective to any man. The initial plans were laid in 1912 with Griffith's involvement, but became bogged down in political infighting. As Griffith's health began to falter in 1916, he left the project but bequeathed a sizable amount of his wealth to the city in his will, earmarked for the construction of the observatory as well as a Greek theater. The plan forged ahead after Griffith's death in 1919, and architect John C. Austin's designs went into construction on June 20th, 1933. A major earthquake hit Long Beach just as construction began in March 1913, or 1933, leading to the decision to build a sturdier yet still beautiful building. The project was finished two years later, the observatory and accompanying exhibits opening to the public on May 14th, 1935, and saw more than 13,000 visitors in his first five days. In its first five days. A building is not a he. Among the original exhibits were a Faucult, I repronounce that pendulum, a 38 foot diameter model of a section of the moon, a 12 inch Zeiss refracting telescope, as the public telescope, and a 75 foot wide theater intended to hold the planetarium projector. During the Second World War, Griffith Park was temporarily converted to a Japanese internment camp. 
Many of the employees of the Griffith Observatory were called into service in 1942, while the planetarium was used in training squadrons of naval aviators to navigate by stars. The observatory would also go dark at night, for fear of its lighting being used to target the city. In, in the 1960s, the planetarium was renewed and repaired, and used in the training of astronauts in the Apollo space program on star identification and celestial navigation. In the 1970s, laser light programs were a popular draw in the planetarium theater, set to either classical music or by rock artists such as Pink Floyd. Later in the 1970s, it became clear the observatory was beginning to show signs of age, and plans and work had been ongoing ever since to repair the and fortify the structure. The observatory continues to be a popular attraction, and is looking at many more years of fulfilling Griffith's vision of entertaining and elucidating the masses. That is actually quite interesting. Santa Sea was used as a Japanese internment camp, though. How disgusting is that? Something meant... Something meant to, um... You know, inspire people to get interested in the stars, and in science, and, you know, beautiful things like that being turned into a place where, well, turn into an internment camp. That's horrible. Ugh, internment camps. That was not a good time in the U.S.'s history. I believe I already visited the statue. Mm-hmm. And I think... There was something I could dig up over here. Yes. Come to me, pile of dirt. <laughs> Magic 8-ball. Can I actually shake it? He keeps saying, reply, Hazy, try again. Yeah, I think your sister's dead. The, ga the gauntlet sounds pretty nasty. <laughs> Welcome, sinners. Thank you. So we're still looking for this dude. Uh, what's his name? Chris? Yes. cat litter bag. I don't think there's any way you could have actually gotten to this point in the game without having the cat litter already, you know, the whole cat litter quest already done. Okay, so where the hell is this Chris? I mean, this just goes out to the wasteland, right? Yeah. That goes back to Hollywood. So this entire place is Los Feliz. Oh, don't go there. Can I go inside of this building? Is he maybe hiding in the crowd? How would I know? I can't even see their names. Let me see if a special mark shows up on anyone. Oh my god, that's a lot of text. What just happened? A handsome white marble building sits on the west side of the path. Shrouded by trees. Marble columns line the front, interspersed with red banners depicting the hammer and book cross of the Salvation Church. There's a tall open door to one side and a well-fed priest standing in front of it. James King Memorial Tabernacle. Wait, where's this door? What door? There's no door there.
Am I missing an entrance? No, if there's an entrance, it'd show up on the map, right? Oh, wait, there's something here. What is this? Ah, it's the inn. Well, let's see if Chris is inside of here. Holy bullets. Tall man with a bushy black beard and hair clipped near to the scalp. Huh? Oh, greetings, aspirants. Praise Samson. I was just, um, studying the King James Bible in preparation for my, uh, testing in the gauntlet. What were you just calling horseshit a second ago? What's horseshit? Are, are you questioning my faith? I love the Salvation Church. There's no one who loves that, loves them more than me. Yeah, that's super convincing, dude. Tell me about aspirants. Yes, sir, that's me. I'm an aspirant. I just can't, can't wait to find my way up to that mountain and start serving Jesus. <laughs> okay, come on, tell the truth. All right, all right, I'm lying. I was calling the... Wait, I'm lying out... Wait. There should be a comma here. I'm lying. I was calling the the James King Bible horseshit. That's because it is horseshit. This whole fucking place is horseshit. Now what are you going to do? Kill me? Mm, no? Why are you lying? I'm trying to save my brother. The militia took him for a slave a couple months ago. Just scooped him up off the street. I... I told that dumb little punk to stay inside, but he... Anyway. I've been working ever since to get enough guns and ammo together to go and get him. I guess I should have spent more time reading the Bible, huh? Well, I suppose you could come. I'm hoping he's the kind of tag-along, tag-along kind of people. Not an actual party member, because I don't actually have any room. But you can have other people that just kind of follow you. Just like the, the Provost. Or Red... Or whatever his name was. Uh, but first, tell me about Samson. Founder of the Salvation Church and God's Militia. Mm hmm. What about James King? Who's a preacher? What do you think of the Bible? It's amazing! <laughs> and the gauntlet? Fight for Jesus. All right, well, you can tag along. Well, I don't know what you guys are up to, but if you're against the church, I'm with you. Sure. Come along. Hello, Chris King of Gamblers. How convenient that you're wearing a name tag that tells me you're the King of Gamblers. Welcome, pilgrims. Chris also has a razor stubble on her... Wait. Chris also has ra... Wait, also? What, what is that referring to? Also, also? I feel like I'm missing like a bit of text that should have popped up before. Anyway, on her cheeks and an Adam's apple and all that blonde hair appears to be a wig, you begin to suspect Chris might just might be a man. I never thought he wasn't. What? I don't understand, but... Okay. I'm sorry. I don't talk to strangers. Please go away. Isn't it dangerous dressing as a woman in a bar full of wannabe gods militia? Is he dressing as a woman? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> He's just wearing a t-shirt and, like, pants. I, what? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. You wouldn't by any chance be Chris, the King of Gamblers, would you? What? How, how do you know that name? Who sent you? Hmm. If I say Manny, he's probably just gonna start shooting, so... Nobody. 
Then get the fuck away from me. I don't want to talk to you. I think it might open up fire if I do this, so let's just ask this. I... Are you implying I'm a man? How dare you? I've never been so insulted in my life. Are... What? I don't understand. I, I feel like there's an entire storyline about... Like, his gender identity that was supposed to be here, but it isn't? I was never led to believe that Chris was oh, a woman. His name is Chris. His pictures of him having huge, a freaking beard, and he's wearing normal clothes. I I don't understand. No insult intended. Just wondering if you've got some kind of death wish. Would you please just go away? Here, what if I pay you? I know it's not real money, but. All you gotta do is take these poker chips to Manny's Chinese Casino in Hollywood and cash them in. You'll get a fortune in scrap, I promise you. Hell no. We're not going anywhere. And give us all your chips. No, they're mine. Now get away from me or I'll tell those god jockeys you're molesting a decent Christian woman. Shit, I don't have hard ass. What if we tear that wig off your head and show them you're a man? I... I mean, he's someone who's supposed to be able to change his identity a lot, right? So I guess the idea is that he's trying to look like a woman, even though he in no way looks like a woman? He's trying to disguise his identity? I think? Alright. Surprise, it didn't work. Um... Wait. Is she gonna try to attack us too? Because I don't want to have to kill her. Hmm. He does, like, no damage. Can't we just, like, stun him or something? Pickpocket? I guess this game doesn't have a pickpocket system, does it? Alright, what if we do this? Let me try something. Okay, I think he can't move now. It's not gonna, I mean, it's really not gonna accomplish anything in the long run, but I'm just curious what's gonna happen. You're actually gonna try to kill us, come on. I don't want to have to kill you. Do I have to kill you? I don't know, let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, so he just took his turn, but he couldn't move. So that is what Tied Up does. It makes us so they simply can't move. Cool. Alright, well, I kind of have to kill him. So, goodbye. Pew! I'm sorry, I'll clean it up. Wait, where's his caps? He was just offering to give me some caps. Surely he must have them on him, no? Alright, can we just leave? You can't run away? Okay, you have to die, I'm sorry. I guess I killed a vendor. So she's got all the vendorly things on her. Holy crap. I guess I'll take it all? Sure.
hope everybody outside isn't going to try to shoot me. That would be unfortunate. All right, let's put the new armor on. I wanted to read the description for the communion wafer. Where did that go? There it is. <laughs> it tastes like a church pew. Why do these beers not stack? It's really annoying. Ah, whatever. It's just visual space. The actual space they take up is just the weight. Okay, well that went brilliantly. Doctor, I think somebody might need your attention. A few people might need your attention in the uh, front lobby there. You have squeezins? Oh, God. You're a squeezins addicted duck. That ain't good. Yeah, we have a bunch. We have so many. Almost exactly the same amount that the vendor had. Squeezins, can I... Please, can I have some? Uh, no. It's probably good, probably better. Yeah, I think it is. What's your story, Doc? Name's Charles Cleric. I could try to fix you up. It's all I'm good for now. Okay. Can you heal us? Sure. <laughs> Do I want to give him squeezins? I could, but the only reason I would actually be doing it would just be for curiosity's sake, just to see what happens. It's not actually a good idea. Can I, like, cure him of it? Cure him of his addiction using surgery? I don't know how the hell that would work. Impossible! Really? A 5% chance of that, okay. Anyway, I've already killed the proprietor of this place, so I might as well steal everything in her office. There's a 5% chance of that. That's 1 in 20. Which I guess actually isn't really that small of a chance, is it? Wait a minute, whoa, 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 hold on. Uh, let's move away so this guy isn't near it. Because he doesn't have that many hit points. One powerful trap could theoretically kill him. Oh, of course, and he's following her. Well, shit. Okay, don't mess this up. I don't want to blow up Alex here. And that was a 92% chance of success. is a hard one. It's okay, though. I'm used to getting my hands dirty with nice, big, hard ones. Ooh. Nothing I want to use, but uh, it's worth a decent amount. Ow. Suitcase of poker chips. Wait, why is that in here? Is 
Was he planning this along with the owner of this place? Hmm. Alright, let's go sell our garbage. Got like 50 pounds of snake squeezins. No, not that. Sell our old vests here, and this armor that I don't want. Yeah, looks like the big stuff. We got some junk in here, too. Let's see. That is not junk. Don't you dare sell that. Nice. I actually made up most of the money that I lost buying all the weapons and armor that I got. Sweet. Okay, should I go back and turn in that quest? I could. There's really no pressing matter, or no pressing reason to do that, though. Hmm. Well, let's go back. It's just right there. I think I want to go deal with Schwag, too. I'm feeling like things should maybe get a bit explosive, if you know what I mean. I mean, really, what I've found from playing this game for a while is that I've, I've often thought to myself, maybe there's a more interesting way to do this quest if I wait and maybe something will pop up. But it seems like in reality, the answer to that is almost always no. You might, it seems like you might as always, might as well just always do the thing you want to do right then and there rather than waiting for something more interesting to come along. Because it tends to not work out. Like any ideas I had about doing some complex, you know, intrigue quests or something like that just doesn't seem to work. So, fuck it. Let's deal with it right here, right now. What up, Manny? Mm-hmm, got the chips, hell yeah! Fantastic. This is wonderful news. I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. By the way, we have illicit photos we found in a safe outside back. How, how'd you learn about that? I... Alright, it's true. Rum has been blackmailing me for years, and there's been no one I could turn, turn to for help. If anyone in the HCC found out, uh, I tried to turn Heidi over to the PPP. I'd be a dead man ten times over. Listen, if you get that evidence away from Grauman and give it to me, I'll pay you generously. I promise. Will you do it? Sure. Thank you. Three years of hell is finally over. Now give them to me quickly. I want to burn them. He's probably lying, but whatever. Sure. Thank you. This means so much to me. Here's a reward I promised. Alright, let's go talk to Schwag, should we? Shall we? Is this the place? What is this place? Actually, yeah, what is this place? It's not even on the map. Uh... 
I think I hear people having sex. So is this Heidi? Yep, this is Heidi's. And Mary doesn't look like she's doing so hot. Anyway, how's it going? Ah, it's you again, Rangers. Please forgive my brusqueness at the cemetery. It's hard to be pleasant when one is grieving. What can I do for you all? Are you here for business or pleasure or both? Brown crown. Oh yes, that's probably opened up now. Yeah, Ma Brown's probably got that up and running. I should go visit that. Tell me about Schwag. It's really hard to ignore the sounds of people having sex in the background. A fine and friendly eating establishment, and the social hub of Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Well worth a visit. Yeah, if you want to be kidnapped. And turn into a beautiful slave. We're here for both. Business and pleasure. Heidi's Hideaway. May I recommend enjoying one of our icons, each harkening back to the golden age of star making. On the female side, we have our bl blonde bombshell, Marilyn. Our brunette playmate, Raquel. Our sweet soul sister, Pam, and our beach bunny, Bo. On the male side, we have our brooding rebel, Dean. Our perfect gentleman, Carrie. Our smooth operator, Billy D, And our suntan surfer, Hasseloff. And if none of those strike your fancy, or if you prefer the darker side of things, Mistress Veronica awaits you in the dungeon below with a more dangerous selection of companions. Hmm. A sex dungeon. I like it. I don't know if I want to ask about every single person. Let's see what happens if I do. Oh, that's just to tell us where they are? Okay. Tell me about Veronica. My dearest darling, who came to me lost and alone, and who, under my tutelage, blossomed to become the most beloved of my icons. Then later, the dark and delicious mistress she is today. She's my second in command, an inspired performer who can be gracious or cruel, kind or cold, whichever her visitors desire. And your job is, owner, yep, need any help? You want to help me? Isn't that sweet? Sadly, though, the hideaway has all the talent we need at the moment, and the HSP seems to have everything in Hollywood well in hand. <laughs> Unless you were thinking of storming the Bastion of Faith and sending those god militia madmen packing, I'm afraid I have nothing for you. Well, it just so happens I kind of was thinking of doing that. God, listen to them just go at it like rabbits in the background. Oh. It's getting me all hot and bothered. Anyway, what do you know about God's Militia? They're crazy? Mm-hmm. Glendale. What is Glendale? Fighting the gangs of Los Feliz and Glendale to bother with us. Oh, so Glendale's a place. What is Glendale? Wild barbaric place across the river to the east. Hmm. Los Feliz already went there. Gone Live Samson already know about it. Red Samson already know about him. Bastion kind of know about it. HSP, what is the HSP? I don't remember. I don't really care. I'm not meet a more dedicated group of men and women. I swear they're never out of uniform. Hmm. It's a Hollywood special police or something? <laughs> I don't know. You sure we can't help? Alright, alright. There are one or two things on my plate that require a steadier hand than the HSP can provide. One will test your diplomacy. The other will test your martial abilities. If you take care of the first for me, then we'll see about letting you take a crack at those pistol-packing priests. Are you interested? I am great at diplomacy! I'm so good at diplomacy. I talk to people and then I end up shooting them, and then I talk to people and I end up shooting them. I'm great. Sure. Marvelous. Here's your first one. My most trusted lieutenant, Mistress Veronica, Lady of Pain, and Ecstasy, has been acting oddly lately. I've seen similar behavior before, and, well, I could not believe it of her at first. I worry she may be in love. 
and a prostitute, a dominatrix no less, in love, is of less value than one unattached. So my quest for you, find out if I'm right, speak to her, offer to help, and see if she admits her condition. <laughs> Being in love is a condition. Uh. By the way, we found evidence of slavery in Hollywood and we were about to go kill the dude... What's, what was his name? I don't remember. We're gonna go kill him, though. This is very serious, and I thank you for bringing it to my attention. I'll have the HSP look into this immediately, but please, do nothing on your own. This must be handled inter internally, with a minimum of fuss. Hollywood's reputation cannot be compromised. Okay, but if you don't do anything about it within a couple days, then I'm going to blow up his door, and I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to shove a shotgun in his face and pull the trigger. K. Alright. So, to actually get a proper quest for that... I didn't, did I? Okay, so I just need to go find the basement. And what is up with you? Oh, right, you're at the funeral. I guess she's just sad. Wait, what? Oh, thanks for helping out at the funeral. It's not much, but please take these. Oh, thank you. Where does that go? Hello, Marilyn. Oh my god, you only have one hit point. You're so weak. I think a stiff wind would kill her. <laughs> the Hoff. <laughs> Not even Hoffman or Hasselhoff, just the Hoff. Well, this establishment is apparently relatively upscale, which means I probably would not catch a horrible STD if I slept with these people. So sure, why not? Hello, Marilyn. Maybe you're the one? Uh... Yes? <laughs> What happened? Crusty Clam. No, what is that? You've got that less than fresh feeling. I th what the fuck? I thought this was an upscale place. Oh no, my clam is crusty. That oh, that sounds disgusting. Ew. That just wrecked her charisma. All right, Theodore, can you check out Yulia's clam? Give her some antibiotics. <laughs> You. Uh, yeah, I'd like to lodge a complaint. Ah, I can't. I'm disappointed in you. What? It's been like two minutes. Of course I haven't done your quest yet. Jesus. Alright, let's see if this is the basement. red. Hmm. Oh, Mistress Veronica, hello. I am Mistress Veronica. And you have entered the land of night and dreams, where no fantasy is too strange, and no request ridiculed. Are you here to indulge yourselves, or is this a business call? Tell us about yourself. I'm assistant, yep, yep, yep. 
Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, skill check here. Madam Heidi is a caring employer and and a great leader for Hollywood in the HCC. And she's been very good to me. Great. You sound unsure. I, please don't ask me about that. I'm deeply indebted to Heidi. I wouldn't want to speak against her. Don't be afraid. You can speak to us. Well, okay. As long as it doesn't get back to Heidi. I I don't think she's a bad person. She's just, she's just so driven to promote Hollywood as a glamorous destination that she turns a blind eye to the bad things happening in the shadows. The drugs. The slavers. She and the HCC just pretend it's not happening. Yeah, that's the impression I've gotten. Tell me about the drugs in Hollywood. The worst is salt. That stuff will take your soul away. Tell me more. Don't know what it is or where it comes from, but I know they sell it at the Hotel California. Yeah, the HSP raided all the time, but somehow it always returns. That's what somebody else told me. Tell me about the HSP. They like to pretend they're real police, but really they're just Heidi's private security. Right, Hotel California. Broken down hotel near the East Gate. And what about slavery in Hollywood? Heidi says there's no slavery in Hollywood, but I know better. I lost friends to those bastards, and there are more street kids disappearing every day. I just wish there was something I could do to save them. I think I've already saved them, actually, but maybe we could save them. Could you? Would you? Oh, Rangers, if you did this, I would be eternally grateful. Now, I don't know who's stealing those girls and boys, but I can tell you where to start looking. Schwag's Drugstore. <laughs> no kidding. Will you bring me some evidence I can take to hide it that will prove this is happening? I already gave her the evidence. Sure. You already showed it to her, and, and she said she'd have the HSP take care of it? <sighs> I know where that's going. Nowhere. Well, at least you tried. Thank you, Rangers. Uh, hmm. Wait, Rangers, listen. You asked before if you could help me with any personal matters, and I was reluctant. But after this, I find I trust you now. So there is one thing, if you're still interested. Mm-hmm. Thank you. It's a bit embarrassing for a woman in my position, but... I've fallen in love. And worse, in love with a customer. I call him the Broken Man. He comes here to be beaten. For his sins, he says. And they must be terrible, for I've sometimes nearly killed him. And still he feels it is not enough. I don't know his name... And I've never seen his face, for he wears a mask. But I love him, and I fear for him. He used to come once a week, but I haven't seen him in a month. I'm afraid something's happened to him, or that I did something to offend him. I know it's crazy to ask you to find a man whose face I can't describe, but if you meet a tall man, very thin, with a sad voice, can you ask him if he knows someone named Veronica? And if he does, can you ask him to come back to her? The other bit of information I have on the broken man is that he's not from Hollywood. Maybe Los Feliz, or I dread to think that he could be from the Bastion. Sure. Thank you. I know it's a shot in the dark, but if you find him, I'll be eternally grateful. Let's go through a couple of these other options. Ooh, another skill check. Smart as level 8. Hmm. But what? This seems like this is kind of the same skill check as before. I shouldn't have spoken. Madam Heidi has done so much for Hollywood. Who am I to question her decisions? Forget I said anything, please. You obviously can't forget. What's upsetting you? Yeah, this is just like another version of the dialogue we just had. Heidi's not fixing anything, they're just ignoring what's happening in the shadows, yep, yep, yep. I was a runaway once, already know. Already kind of know these. Given what's just happened, I think it might be a little bit inappropriate to, um, indulge. So, we're good.
Wait a minute, they just had a conversation. What'd they just say? Oh, not much. Just so your employer's given and receive pain? Indeed. Is that your desire? No, no. I've had enough of pain. But thank you. Oh, I was hoping it'd be something saucy. Not the worst brothel I've been in. Yeah, I suppose it's not the worst, but we did catch an STD, so that's not good. Copy, Ranger Demon. It's Greg. Theodore. Three points, not enough. Pazepi. Eight points, more than enough. Um, alright, well, her submachine gun and energy weapon skills are definitely lagging behind Smartass, but that's because I don't want to miss any skill checks. Do I have anything that increases smart-ass skill? I don't believe I do. No. Screw it. You know, combat's not been a problem, so I'm not I'm really not worried about combat. But I am worried about missing the skill checks, so I'm just gonna upgrade smart-ass to 10. And we never have to worry about it again. I don't have a book for that, do I? That's for alarm disarm. Hard-ass skill. No, I don't. Okay. Alright, well, plenty more to do, but I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.